Welcome to Smart Notebook Math Tools. Math Tools is an add-on to Smart Notebook software. All the new math tools you need are built right into the Smart Notebook. Access all the great features, tools, gallery items in Smart Notebook, saving you from running several applications. The following math tools will come with the purchase of Smart Notebook math tools. In this session, we'll be looking at how to customize the math toolbar and how to use the irregular polygons tool. First, we'll look at how to customize the math toolbar. You have the primary toolbar, and now you have a secondary toolbar, which we can use for the math icons. Right click on the primary toolbar to open up the control panel or the customized toolbar panel. Here we can start to select and move icons around. For example, we may move our selection tool into a position where it's more readily accessible. We might want to move our lines tool and maybe our shapes tool onto our secondary toolbar so that all our math tools are together. We might like to uh, choose other icons like the smart keyboard or the smart recorder, if that's the tools that you use often. And then finally, at the bottom of the customized toolbar panel, you will see that you can select to show the secondary toolbar or hide it. You can also auto hide the contextual toolbar. And in this case, I'm going to deselect that as this is the way I like to customize my own toolbars. Next, let's look at how to use the irregular polygons tool. In the past, to create a shape like a star, we would choose our shapes icon and then select for the star. Here, trying to reproduce this star, I would create the shape and try to resize it and possibly rotate it as we try to fit it and get a similar shape as the one we have here. And you can see how difficult that is to do. So therefore, let's delete that shape and try with something else like the shape recognition tool. So selecting for the shape recognition, I may try to trace around the shape and hope that the recognition tool will recognize the shape as a star once finished. And there you can see that's a difficult process as well. And we cannot really have a recognizable shape of a star. But now with the new dynamic tool, the regular polygons tool, we can select that icon and just click selecting the vertices of the star. We can reproduce its shape much as we would like it. And then clicking on a select tool, we can close that shape. And there you have a star shape. And then we can customize that shape using our properties tab. We can look at the fill effects. And if I use a gradient fill, I'll get it very close to the color that of the star that I was trying to repl replicate. And you may not see this in the recording. Um, you'll see it more as two colors. Then I can shave the shape into my galleries. So looking at my content, I can just drag the shape in there and so that I can save it. And you can see I've got two stars saved already. Next, let's look at an example of the use of regular polygons tools. So here, pulling down the question for students to answer. 
I have a figure below that shows the dimensions of a cabin. If the cabin is completely symmetric, determine the area required to cover the exterior walls and roof with wood finishing. So here's an example that we can make use of the irregular polygons tool. So selecting the tool and selecting one with a fill, I can now look at um, finding the area of one wall, the one with the window, and selecting the vertices around. I can recreate this shape and have students calculate the area. So there's the wall, including the area of the window. And so the students would then have to calculate the window shape to subtract off that area. So again, collecting the irregular polygon tool, changing selection for the window. and then calculating that area, the students would, would subtract off that area from the original figure and have the area that requires the wood finishing. In the next session, we'll be looking at how to use shape manipulation and shape division.